ready. Hollywood Now, King Sound Entertainment. Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Amazing. You are definitely an activist. And your work is unparalleled. You absolutely are. We love you. And it's like, guess what we think? That, okay, she's done her job. You come again. A best man for her. Energy. Amazing you are. And so, ladies, tell me what as you know, we've gone through some very difficult times and we just you know, changed administration here in the United States. When we had Trump, we were on the way down and on the way back because he was doing everything he could to put his feet on our necks and to hold us down. And now we have an opportunity with Biden and with Kamala Harris to go forward and to correct some of the things and undo some of the damage that has been done by Trump. And so I've got to use this moment to legislate and to organize and to provide leadership on the issues such as rental assistance, such as stimulus payments, such as child tax credit, and all those issues that's going to at least give us an opportunity to have a decent quality of life. What would you say to those who say, Americans don't have any rights, don't have anything. What do you say? Well, I think we have demonstrated in our history. For those who say that to us, we say, you're wrong. Not only do we have rights, we are fighting for our rights. We have fought for them, we have maintained, we have been able uh, not only to invest in our own future, and we have to keep doing that. And for anybody who says uh, that we have no rights, they are wrong, they misunderstand, we have rights, and we're going to maintain our rights, and we're going to improve our rights, and we're going to fight always for our rights. Well, because there are whites who want to suppress our rights. Don't forget, historically, we had to pay poll taxes. We had to count the number of beans in the jar. We had to know the Constitution by memory. And so they did all of those very obvious things in order to keep us from voting. Because they know voting is our power. And so now voting suppression is taking place in different ways. Uh, they're doing away with early voting days. They want different kinds of identification. And all of those things, making us stand in line at the polling place for a long time to discourage us from voting. We know the tricks, and we will not let them get us down. Look what black women have done. Take a look at Georgia. Look at Stacey Abrams. Look at the fact that we got two percentage, despite the fact that Georgia has never elected a black woman. Amazing. Amazing. now. Maxine Waters, Congresswoman, we love her. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you. Absolutely. They're comfortable.